All right, what's up, YouTube? Mind Games here. It's Jasper with another review for you guys today. Uh, today we're doing the Ice Skin Solo. So I picked this up for thirty dollars at a store. Don't remember what the store was called, but I'm pretty sure they sell it for the same price everywhere else. So, well, thirty dollars Canadian. It's probably like maybe cheaper in the states. Not sure. So, anyways. In here you get a little box in box, which is pretty cool. So you get a box inside the box, which is interesting. Um, the back of the box here you got tells you stuff about it: bodysuit, double durable everyday protection against impact, scratches, and more. Exact precision fitting coverage, smooth high gloss film with enhanced non-slipping coating, and stylish low profile design. And then you also have a touch screen film, touch compatible, shields against scratching, dust, and other hazards. Ultra thin, won't add bulk, and applies easily with adhesive free tacking. And then you got it all the same in uh, different languages. So you got that back there, them telling you about the product a bit. In here, you get all the goodies. So here's your goodie package. Uh, you get eye skin decals, which is pretty cool. Not a lot of people give you that. Uh, you also get the screen protector. You only get one, so use it wisely. <laughs> and then you also get an instruction manual. So it's like how to how to install it, um, how to install the screen protector, placing the iPhone into the Richard's into the sorry into the Solo. Um, it's compatible with the Revo 3 clip. So if you have the the iSkin Revo 2, uh, you can use the clip with this case. So that's that's pretty awesome of them to include the, all that stuff. Um, now you also get the case, which again is not silicone. It's like some kind of rubbery type material. I th I think it's rubbery. Um, let me see here. Well, it's kind of like a smooth rubber, so it's not really very grippy. Uh, there is grip, but it's not like it's gonna catch lint or anything, which is awesome. But I'll get into that in a bit later. So on the inside, it's nice and soft. Um, we'll just wipe down the phone real quick and, or the phone and the case. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like kind of out of it today. Anyway, so installing it is easy. You just kind of go like that, stretch this over, stretch it over there. There you have it. So you can see the size here. Your buttons are covered over here. You're up in volume, up and down, which is pretty awesome. Uh, they have a nice cutout for your volume, for your, um, sorry, your silent switch. And it's pretty easy to get to. They do have sort of like an indent, so you can still get to it, switch it up, which is awesome. Uh, the top here, you can see your sleep awake is covered. So is your SIM card tray. And you have a pretty nicely cut out hole for your headphone jack. Okay. The bottom here you can see nicely covered. Um, speak nicely cut out actually over here. The speakers are cut out pretty perfectly. Uh, you can still port with it and then everything. You can still plug it in. Still use your microphone and everything. Um, the back you can see it's partly see-through. You can see through to the Apple logo, giving it that little kind of tint over here, which is pretty cool. Um, you can see the camera hole over here is ni very nicely cut out actually. Uh, and then you have that little sort of design down here which is not really much but it's something rather than nothing. Okay, so you can see the front here has a, it's fully, the chrome is fully covered so you do have that lay on the table design. You also have it on the back like always, like most cases. Um, so you're protected from scratches there, from pr pr your chrome's protected from scratches. Um, there is a little bit of drop protection. It is a pretty thick rubber case, so drop protection, you have that. You have, um, it is a bit thicker on the corners over here because of this design over here, you can see that. So you do have more shock protection on the corners over here than these corners up here. All right. Um, in your hand, it feels really nice. It's very smooth. It's not like it's gonna, you know, there is grip, but it's not like it's gonna like catch on to stuff in your pocket or anything. Um, there is a bit of grip and it feels nice in your hand. feels very soft so it's not like it's a hard case like anything. It's very soft in your hand. Um, 
in and out of your pocket. It actually slides in very nicely out of your pocket. It won't catch the lint or anything from your pocket or anything. So, <coughs> sorry. So you don't have to worry about lint collecting anywhere on in the cracks or on the back or anything, which is pretty awesome. I really like that about this case that it doesn't catch lint and it is a, sort of a, what's it called? A silicon type, rubbery type case. A lot of the other cases that I've tried that are silicon and rubber and stuff, they usually catch a lot of lint, which I didn't really like, which put me off. But this one's different. It's kind of like, it's kind of like rubbery plastic type material. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's really soft though. Um, if you felt the jelly bean part on the Switch Easy colors, it's kind of like that. It feels sort of like that. It's like kind of like a plasticky sort of rubbery feel to it, which is pretty awesome. Again, makes it feel nicer in the hand. Um, down here, you do have that risk of the sagging issue, like on the Switch Easy um, Rebels. You do have that risk, but I haven't had that happen to me. Um, it's fairly nice. It holds together very nicely. Uh, it won't stretch over time. As you can tell, it's a very rugged case, so it, I'm pretty sure it won't stretch over a period of a long period of time. Uh, if you keep it on, you know, maybe if you keep using it, taking it on and off like daily, it would. Um, but there's not a lot of stretch to this case, as you can see. I'm trying to stretch it, it's not very s stretchy, so it doesn't catch lint. You can tell that by um, how stretchy a case is. If it stretches, you know, it will catch lint because it will stretch and then it will start getting looser and looser on your phone as time goes by and then you're going to have to get a new one. But this one, it actually, it's not like that. It it doesn't stretch as much. Um, maybe over like a course of like a year or so, it may stretch a little bit, but it doesn't stretch as much as a lot of other um, cases, which is pretty awesome. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, but yeah. So I'd really recommend this case. It's not a bad case. It's it does its job. It keeps your phone protected from scratches, from from um, drops. Not not so much very high drops, but low drops, say like from like here to the ground. Um, like here to the ground. I won't. I don't want to drop it because I'm too chicken to do that. But um, it's a very nice case. It's a very good case for, and you also get a bunch of goodies, which is also always a plus, um, which always puts cases like companies over the top, which they get when they give you extras. Uh, but anyway. That's all I have for you guys today. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, you can always PM me, um, email me, mindgames at gmail.com. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. My username is mindgames. You can also Skype me if you want. Again, username is mindgames. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway. So if you guys want to check this out, you can go to their website, iSkin.com, I'm pretty sure. Link will be on the side, as always. Or you can go check out any local stores that you have that may carry this. Um, also, they're based out of Toronto, which is pretty cool. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, this is the Eye Skin Solo. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today, so I'll talk to you again later. Peace out, YouTube.